This video demonstrates how to give an indirect inferior alveolar nerve block on a model. The video is produced and copyrighted by the Department of All Maxillofacial Surgery at the Arthur A. Degoni School of Dentistry at the University of the Pacific in San Francisco. Giving an inferior alveolar nerve anesthesia, it is important to have good anatomical landmarks. An important anatomical landmark is the external oblique ridge, which on every patient can be found. The internal oblique ridge is much more difficult and using the rafe can sometimes lead to giving anesthesia in not the precisely right location. When using the external oblique ridge as a landmark, place a finger with the nail exactly at the external oblique ridge like this, then aim for about five millimeters medial to this anatomical landmark, going one centimeter above the occlusal plane on the average patient. After leaving maybe a quarter of the carpule for the lingual nerve, you need to change direction and navigate past the internal oblique ridge. As soon as you feel that the bony contact is gone and you have come behind the internal oblique ridge, make sure that you change the location back to about the other canine area and then continue posteriorly to reach the entrance point of the mandibular nerve. This technique means that there is more manipulation in this area where the bony contact is reached but the main advantage of the indirect technique, which this is called, is that the anatomical location is more secure because the contour of the bone is followed more closely with this technique. When using the rafe as the only anatomical landmark and this anatomical landmark is missed, then the location of the anesthetic is much more uncertain. Sometime in certain patients, the anatomy of this region is such that the mandibular ramus may be quite wide, so going five millimeters medial to the external oblique ridge means that you need to move all the way over here to navigate past the internal oblique ridge. Sometimes you will need to bend the needle a little bit to achieve passing the internal oblique ridge. In very, very few patients, it may be necessary to go back out choose a new entry point that is maybe seven millimeters medial to the external oblique ridge to be able to navigate past the internal oblique. 